as possible. This is like a goldy yellow. This is more, more like it. There's like a purple color. Yeah, that's like a purple color. There's like a magenta pink. This is actually too bright. So I can dull it down with like a red. Black. Yeah, I got them all. And there's white, obviously. So I'm just going to sort of now kind of create my composition here showing movement. So let's see, I know there's black here. There's a black area here. So maybe I want to extend that and curve it because I have to show movement, right? And I'm going to color that whole thing in, that whole area in black, trying to get it as dark as possible. Now, you could use a couple different black pencils. You don't have to just stick with this one. This one is actually not that black. So you could look through what we have and see if you can find something more black. But, oh, I forgot an orange. So here's an orange. Okay, so maybe I want to take my orange now. Let's see, I'm going to curve it up. So I'm going to follow that width of that line. Maybe I want to make it wider. Maybe I want to bring it out and make it wider, almost like it's exploding, like fireworks or something. Okay, I want to fill that in. Then the next color is the purple. I want to follow that because if you see there's there's almost like stripes. So I want to follow that orange and keep it in line with the orange. And let's see, then there's this pink. This pink is too pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dull it down a little with this red. Yeah, that works. Okay. Now let's see, yellow. Yellow. Yeah, this goldy yellow works well too. Without that light yellow. Now there's a black, right? Maybe I want to bring that out, that black. I want to keep curving it because I want to show movement. Make sure you don't leave your color pencil coloring like that where there's white showing through. You can just put some pressure and go over your lines to fill it in. You can even do what's cross hatching, what's called cross hatching, and go the other way to fill in the white. So in other words, you color one way and then you color the other way. See how that fills in the white? That's called cross hatching. So now, let's see, there's that stripe of white and pink, and then there's a black, another black area. So I want to maybe make this black area, and it ends here. So maybe I want to take this black area and make it swervy like that. So I'm going to fill in this whole thing black. I'm going to do it, but I just want to show you. And then this is sort of striped pink, black, pink, white, black, white, pink, white, black. So I'll fill that in. White, pink. And remember, I'm coloring over my pink. White, black. pink, 
I'm getting my lines are getting a little thicker here. Right? Black. And so on. So you can start filling this in. Then this area maybe you want to bring out this way. This area you want to bring down this way. You want to show movement. I'll show you an example that another student did that I mounted because it was so great. So this was the this is the magazine picture. Okay, so they took those little ball shapes and they created movement with them. They extended them down and then they actually made their own line of these little ball shapes this way. It almost looks like DNA, right? Maybe they got it from a medical magazine. Okay, and filled this in. So you really, if you look at it, you really can't tell where the magazine picture is and the colored pencil. That's what I want to see from you. So let's get to work.